Welcome to Adobe XD. This is where we're going to be able to create this frosted glass effect very quickly and easily. You can still do it manually in Photoshop and Illustrator, but you have to have lots of different layers and effects, and it's just a lot to set up and, and really hard to do because there's not this kind of automatic setting where you can easily create this effect. So that's why I wanted to be in Adobe XD. I teach several Adobe XD lessons. I have one in my digital design masterclass where we'll go over all the basics of Adobe XD and how it works and how to get animations working. Uh, this lesson will mostly focus on the trend and how to create this specific step. We're not going to go over the basics of how to use Adobe XD, but we'll be doing this little quick project to show you how easy it is to create this frosted glass effect. And we're going to also create a few quick little user interface items like a slider and a button or two that emulates this more glass morphism effect. So let's get started. I wanted to get a nice high contrast background color so we can kind of see how our frosted glass affects the background. So I have this really bright yellow flower. I got this from Gru. It's on pexels.com, so you can download that photo. If that one's no longer available, there's a lot of great photos that have a similar look. I just typed in black background, and you have lots of nice high contrast colors, high contrast background images to use. So I'm going to bring that in Adobe XD. Let's just open up just a default document. Let's just go ahead and do web 1920 for now. So that's going to be 1920 pixels by 1080. So it's kind of more of a desktop size for now. Let's bring in our photo and I just drop it right in. So this will be our background element. And so this is how easy it is to create this. I'm going to just get a shape. Let's go ahead and get a simple square shape and draw it across. Almost like a credit card shape. If you ever look up glass morphism, you'll see tons of examples of frosted glass credit cards. For some reason, people love to do it to credit cards and credit card designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on this and just kind of round the corners, not too much, just a little bit, kind of staying a little bit more sleek and modern. And this is how easy it is. So I'm gonna go right over here to my right panel and I'm gonna go down to background blur. I'm gonna click on background blur and look at that. With one click, I can go ahead and make this frosted glass. What's great about this that other programs in the Adobe Suite do not have is I can click and hold and all of a sudden, once I click and hold, I can, uh, it, it does a live blurring effect as I move it, which is really cool, really incredible to be able to have that. So I can uh, turn this, spin it all which way, and, and it'll go ahead and keep that frosted glass effect. In other programs, you have to do this manually by creating a letter, layer behind it and then blurring it. And then you can't just sit there and just move things around and it automatically change it live for you. So that's why we're in Adobe XD today. So when you go down to background blur, you can change a few elements here to change how the frosted glass appearance looks. So you have blur amount. So if we reduce the blur, it's going to make it more sharp. So as you reduce the blur, it gives the glass less of the frosted look. So if, if, if the glass is just a pure glass, you'd probably just have it at zero. If you want it to be super duper frosted, like you would see in a bathroom window that would be frosted, you would have that effect too. So you can change that appearance. I kind of like something in between. I do want to be able to see the elements on top. You want to be able to have everything remain very readable. If you have a low effect, you really have to have some high contrast type and elements that really pop out above it because you're not going to be able to see it through this really detailed photo. So I'm going to have it somewhere in the middle. Let's say about 20 for now. And we can also change the brightness. So we can make it a super bright, almost like there's a light behind it. And you can make it dark. So let's say you're doing kind of a dark mode UI or a dark mode interface. Um, if you reduce the brightness to, you know, you can go all the way down to negative 50 if you wanted to. But we're going to do something right there in the middle. And then there's effect opacity, which is the last option. So this is going to, as you increase it, it goes all the way to 100, it's basically the effect is null. It's no longer working, or you can have the effect at 50% power, I guess you should say, or 50% strength, or all the way at full when it's at zero. You don't have any transparency of the effect. So it's the effect is fully on, so we're going to leave that at zero. And what makes glass morphism work really well is you'll notice when you see it out there, you'll see kind of a border around it, kind of like a light color stroke. I guess you could say that kind of gives it uh, more of a beveled 
glass edge. If I did not have a stroke on here, I'm going to go down here and click off stroke. And in Adobe XD, it's called border, but it's basically a stroke. I take that off. It kind of gets lost. It gets lost a little bit. When light hits glass, you'll have, especially when glass is cut, you'll kind of have a little bit of a shine or reflection on the edges of glass if you ever look at a cut piece of glass. So you want to add a little bit of a border and you want to make it a little bit bigger. So let's do two. And I usually I like to make it not white because then that looks starts to look fake, but something kind of like a light gray look. Very easy, very quick to use. We're going to do something a little bit complicated next. Uh, we're going to take it up a level and do this really quick mobile app UI elements. We're just going to do a couple of borders, a couple of sliders, and we're going to add a tiny bit of animation so you can have something really cool to put on your portfolio.